Okay, so tell me a little bit about the Anxier Center and how it all got started. Yeah, so first off, uh, thank you so much for having me and, and Annexter. Super excited for this opportunity. Um, Annexter Center is a social impact nonprofit that primarily serves the Chicagoland area, but also really serves the entire state of Illinois. We were founded over 100 years ago in 1918, um, coincidentally during the last global pandemic, and we were originally founded as an orphanage for children who lost their parents to the influenza pandemic. Um, fast forward 100 years later, we're coming out on the other side of yet another global pandemic, um, but our focus has shifted. So over the years, we've really always leaned in where Chicago needs us most. So around the 50s or 60s, we pivoted and really started focusing on um, developmental and intellectual disability services. And we've also expanded to include mental health services, as well as deaf, deaf, blind, and hard of hearing services, um, which is primarily through the Chicago Hearing Society, or better known as CHS, which is a division of Annexter. Um, but really the core of what we do is we work to make Chicago and the world a more accessible and a more inclusive place. Um, we envision a world where everyone belongs and has access to everything that they need to be able to thrive. So whether that's a safe place to live or counseling or ASL classes or domestic violence assistance, that's really what our focus is, is, is making the world a more accessible place. Mm -hmm. So, because I was going to I was going to ask, like, what kind of services do you provide at, at the Angster Center? Yeah, so we I kind of touched on it, but we offer a really wide variety of services. So we have more than 30 programs across several locations. Um, about 90 percent of our programs and services are delivered directly in the community, which is something that sets us apart. So we have community-based services like employment coaching. So if someone with a disability needs support getting a job, whether that's a resume critique or um, even just you know navigating the accommodations process in the workplace. Uh, we also offer, as I said, residential living, um, therapy services and lifelong learning opportunities for people with developmental disabilities. Um, and then again, through CHS, the Chicago Hearing Society, we provide advocacy and outreach services for individuals who are deaf, deaf, blind, and hard of hearing. Um, so for example, youth mentoring for children who are deaf. And we also have a full service audiology clinic at CHS as well. So very diverse uh, amount of services that we provide. But one, one service that's been really exciting, it's one of our newer services is what we call the After 22 Project. And that is in partnership with Special Olympics Chicago, Special Children's Charities, and also City Colleges of Chicago. Uh, the After 22 program creates a pathway for students who are aging out of the public school system and who have a disability. It creates a pathway to college for them. So if they might otherwise not have been able to attend college, After 22 provides the supports and services for those individuals to attend college. Um, that's been a really exciting program to launch. Quite a few of our students in our pilot program are the first in their generation, first ever in their family to go to college. So it's a really exciting project. Mm -hmm. That's really that's really cool. Um, so if I could just like ask, what are some of the stakeholders that you partner with in your efforts? Who are like the key players, so to speak? That's a great question. So as I've mentioned, we focus a lot on community at Annexter. So we partner with a lot of different stakeholders in the community. So I mentioned specifically for After 22, we've got Special Olympics Chicago, Special Children's Charities, as well as City Colleges of Chicago. Um, Special Olympics of Illinois is another key partner. And then another service that we provide is we call it Disability Forward Consulting Services. So those are services primarily for for-profit companies that um, works to make, we help make their workplace a more accessible place to be. So whether that's helping them start an employee resource group focused on disability or doing neurodiversity trainings. Um, and so we have a lot of really great corporate partners through our disability forward consulting. So a couple of those would include the University of Chicago Medicine, so that hospital system, as well as Mesero Financial and 
countless others that I, I won't take the time to mention every single one, but those are those are quite a few of our stakeholders. Mm -hmm. If you could like speak on the impact that your organization has as has as the impact that your organization has on the disability community as a whole, that would be great. Yeah, another really good question. So Annexer serves over 5,500 people annually. And a lot of our services, as I said, are direct, direct service. So we really are here for our neighbors when they don't have anywhere else to turn. So for example, we provide housing services to over 50 people each year, um, thousands of hours of counseling services. We have a, um, a community space that we call the Recovery Hub. It's on the north side of Chicago. And we had a wonderful story of impact where a woman shared her story that she really struggled to find a place to belong because of her history with mental illness. And as she started coming to the recovery hub, she found that place of community and she really found a place where she belonged and didn't feel judged. So I love that specific story of impact. Um, and then, as I said, beyond the direct service that we do, which is incredibly important work, we also provide those education and consulting services to organizations to become disability forward. So. As a result of all of this, over 75,000 people see Annexter's mission in action in some way or another. Um, so really, even if we're not doing that direct service work, we're out in the community talking about why it's so important to embrace accessible practices and why it's important that everybody is included um, at the table, so to speak. Um, and then again, I'll mention CHS is the really one of the forefront leaders in the state of Illinois when it comes to deaf, deaf, blind, and hard of hearing um, thought leadership and advocacy. So those are just a few examples of our impact. Mm -hmm. Lastly, you know, like, how do you like create an inclusive and welcoming world for people with disabilities? Because, you know, there's the stigma of disability, you know, that's persistent um, in our society, you know, with things like ableism and whatnot. So how do you guys as an organization sort of tackle that? Yeah, a really important topic and really gets to a lot of the core of, of what we believe at Annexer. Um, so just to clarify, do you mean specifically within Annexer's workplace or how the work we does fights like ableism and the stigma? Yeah, the, the latter, the latter, yeah. Okay, uh, appreciate you clarifying. So again, I'll, I'll give some examples from our neurodiversity training and some of our disability forward consulting. We talk a lot about um, this idea that there's a lot of almost fear of the unknown. I'm gonna use employment as an example. So I don't know the exact number off the top of my head, but somewhere between 80 to 90% of people with disabilities are unemployed, um, which is a huge disparity between people who don't have disabilities. And part of that is because companies just don't know where to start when it comes to hiring someone with a disability. They don't know where to find that talent. They may have a fear that accommodations are costly. And so we fight that stigma by coming into these companies and saying, sometimes the employees with disabilities can outperform those without disabilities. And even if they might need an accommodation, more often than not, accommodations don't cost any money. And sometimes if you're implementing a universal practice or a more accessible practice in the workplace, it benefits all the employees, not just the ones with disabilities. So that's one very specific example of how we fight ableism and, and the stigma. Another way I would say is just through our direct service work, we partner with the people that we serve. It's not, um, I think a lot of times service providers think of the people we serve as other. They're different from us. Um, we don't think like that at Annexter. We really partner with each individual and we determine together what are their goals? What does success look like for them? Because services are not a one size fits all. We really want to make sure that we're being person centered and working with each individual so they can be out in the community as much as possible or engaging um, in lifelong learning or other whatever success looks like for them. Mm -hmm. It's that nothing about us without us mantra that I've heard so many times. Absolutely. Yes, very much agree with that. Mm -hmm. 